we're going to go over the operations of a fin hydroceder and the basic uh, basics on how it operates. Go over the controls to start with to give you an idea where everything is located. This lever here is the forward and reverse agitation for the mixer inside, this being in reverse, this being in forward. There's also a lever on the front of the machine that you can run it from the front also. This button here is for the hose rewind. As you pull it out, to so use the hand held uh, nozzle. Uh, you can use that to rewind it. This is your clutch off engage and standby position switch. Down here you have your bypass valve and that's used when you're running a handheld uh, hose reel. Right now it's off, now it's in bypass. This is the on and off for the handheld. Right there it's on, now it's off. When you're using the tower you'll want to have both these bypass and handheld turned off. This lever here is the on off for the tower. It's off and on. This is just your ignition switch, your choke for the engine, your hour meter. So the first thing you do when you're running the hydro seeder is you start filling with water. So you have to access that from a, uh, a clean source. You can use a pond and a water pump to fill it uh, as long as you use a strainer on the end of the suction hose so you don't pump contaminants into the, to the seeder. Um, and as you're filling it, you have to be careful that when you're leaning over the opening there that you don't have pens or plastic or any debris in your pockets that might fall inside pencils because that, that may jam the, the impeller inlet for the, for the cedar. So you don't want that debris to get in there. As you're filling that, you, you will want to start this up and running it at approximately half throttle and go through the functions of it. You will engage the, the pump. You will turn this uh, bypass into the open position and you will unroll the hose and take the nozzle off. At that point, you will open this uh, valve up so it will pump some water through it. That's to make sure that before you start mixing all your blends that uh, you have a clear hose that it didn't get put away with any slurry left in it that would cause a plug. After that is done, you will also want to uh, uh, close this valve up and have this moved into the bypass position uh, to make sure that the water is not flowing through there so they also do not get plugged. After all that you will, you will close both of those, aim the tower in a position where it won't uh, spray things you don't want to have sprayed. When it's in standby that's when you can run the switch upside top. You will engage that with your clutch button to uh, make the, the tower work and that will turn that on and off also. So uh, you'll spray that out and make sure that the tower is clean. Now you're ready to mix your slurry. When you start doing that, you'll be putting it in through the top hatch. You'll put the lightest materials in first, uh, such as your seeds that you're going to use, and then you will put in your bark. And uh, while you're doing that, you will want to be mixing that in the reverse motion. So you'll have this in the reverse, which means it'll be pulling the material toward the front of the tank. You'll be running that at probably somewhere around half, uh, three-quarter throttle. Um, as it gets fuller, you'll probably be at full throttle. Uh, but you mix your, your bark first, and then your, your fertilizers and your, your other additives after that. And uh, you may have to reverse this from forward to reverse a couple times to make sure you got a, a good mix. From then on, then now you're ready to start doing application. With the application, you'll have to determine which nozzles you'd like to use, depending on what spray pattern you're after, and whether you're going to use the handheld or the tower, and what direction you're going in.